Hello and welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. Uh, my name is Pirate Scott, I'm covering for Boom today, and basically I'm going to be showing you guys what these wonderful ones you can do. But um, before I start, I'm just going to say hello to everybody in the chat. So give me a second. Uh, hello Mercurius, and welcome to the chat. Hello AJ, hello Wisdom Turtle, hello Gaily Angel, Epic Twitcher. Uh, I'm sure there's more people here, give me a second. Poe Hunter, uh, Wolkalak, Alyov, and Baba Karlov. If I've said, if I've missed anybody out, oh, and Mr. Washable. If I've missed anybody out, I'm sorry. Uh, just tell me off in the chat, and I'll say hello to you. Um, but we'll get started. So, what? Oh, come on. What? What did I do? Right. Anyway, let's start the stream. It's weird being in. Uh, there we go. That's better. So, uh, on my island, before we go, there's a few fancy items here. I'll just quickly give you a glimpse of before I go. Uh, anyway, I'll head off to the City of First Light and we'll start the tutorial. So you may be thinking, what's Lumo Stone? So Lumo Stone is basically a way that you can uh, power uh, devices and interactive props, I suppose. And it's, it's a really cool way of creating puzzles or just ways to get around or blocking people unless they uh, stand on certain things to go through it and so on. It's, it's just a really nice way of... In, uh, powering interactive props and so on. And I'll show you how it all works now. Oh, hello. <laughs> Got a, a friend here. How you doing, Delizzy? Welcome to the chat. Scrub, thanks, Gilly Angel. So, Lumastone is wires. Basically, I will show it to you. It's basically a way of wirelessly powering devices. So, let's go in first person to make this easier. Lumo Stone items can be bought from Kamcha over here. The oh, the name is changed. The Lithomancer. Lithomancer? I don't know how to say that. Anyway, Kamcha the Lithomancer sells all of the interactive props here. Uh, the Lumo Stone items. So what you'll first need, and you'll definitely need this to make any of the items, is the Lumo Stone Forge. So I'm going to buy one of these. I think I may already have one. I'm now a wizard, not a pirate anymore. Uh, another thing you'll need. Is the Lumo Stone one? So make sure you buy one of these too. Right, the thing about the Lumo Stone ones is they come in multiple colors. So as you can see, you've got blue, red, and you've got the black one down here too. Now these don't change the powering of anything, and I'll explain that later. But they do allow you to color code your wires, so you're not getting really messed up with what's going on, and it's really useful for that. Um, I'll show you how all that works later on, but I just thought I'd explain it now. Also, you will definitely need Ica to create your items. If you want to create any of them, you'll need a lot of Ica. So just, it's it's fairly cheap. Just buy a lot of that. Anyway, uh, as you go through, I'll show you the things. We've got the dart turret, which is cool. It shoots darts uh, that damages the player and also stuns them temporarily. I'm not sure if that's staying in, but that's there. We've got delay timers. So we've got one second and five seconds. We've got, you, you've seen these before. You've seen the uh, Scott, how many colors are they? Just three, just three from what I know of right now. Uh, there is no recipe to create one, but there may be more in the future, but free, currently. Uh, the City of First Light is so amazing. Oh yeah, that's been changed around. But I won't show you too much of that. I'll let you guys get to that yourself when you actually get around to playing Alpha 9, which is the 25th, by the way. Uh, anyway. So we've got the Spike Trap is new, as you can see, but we're not going to be using that. Uh, and then you've got the crumbling stone block and there's also a load of recipes that you already have inside the device So I'll show you and I'll head off to my island and show you guys what's what uh, There's just those three color ones available. Yep. There's just those three at the moment But they're really cool. I love the way they spin as you can see in my hands I want the other one too. So I'll let me uh, quickly buy that and then we'll head off You also will need when you're creating the devices a lot of stone chunks but Stone's fairly easy to get, you just go on an adventure and go mining for a bit and you can turn them into chunks. So, you do need it. Uh, I have a question about the transfer to Alpha 9. Will rucksacks and chests on islands be reset and is there anything we can do about it? They will be reset and there's nothing we can do at the moment. The only thing that gets carried over is your friends list, your character name, your progression will be wiped, your items will be wiped. Although your builds um, can be saved, so if you have an island with a load of things on it and you want to keep that, make sure it's published. And that can be saved, unless it's a guild island and then it can't. But in terms of progress and items, you can't keep those. I'm sorry about that. 
The game for me at the moment is confusing. I don't know what to do. I did the forest quest. Well, we have a new tutorial coming in Alpha 9 that hopefully will help you a bit better. So when Alpha 9 comes out, hopefully the tutorial will make things a bit more clearer for you. Anyway, uh, I'll head to my island now. Give me a second. Uh, which island? My desert castle. It's not a castle, by the way. Just like to say. It's not that fancy. Uh, I think I've already got the forge, am I? Yeah, we should already have the forge, and we don't. How do I keep my stuff on my island? I refresh the stream. It, you can't keep anything inside your chests. You can keep anything you've built. So any place blocks or decorations can be carried over. So these, but chests will be wiped. I'm not sure if the chest itself will go, but the items inside definitely will. I think the chests themselves go too. But all of the things placed on the island, so everything you can see here should be saved. Uh, excluding the chest. Right, anyway. So to start this, you need a Lumo Stone Forge. And Lumo Stone Forge is where you craft all of the Lumo Stone items. Everything. Uh, yeah, everything. So in here, as you can see, you've got the crumbling stone blocks, which are really cool. They crumble as you walk on them. Um, is that whiskey in your drinking bottle, or is it rum? It's neither. It's, it's water. I'm behaving myself. Uh, okay. So to craft the items, you mostly need... A lot of uh, stone chunks and a lot of ichor. So I got a load earlier. Ooh, I might make two new more stone forges. Just one over here too. So I'll place this one down then I can run. You posted a link. Moderators can post links because they mostly use them to post uh, forum links and useful information. So there's an exception for that one. I'm not transferred either because I'm not. Uh, right, anyway. Uh, so as you can see, we've got the... Pardon me. We've got the Lumo Stone Pressure Pad, and this is used to actually send power signals, so when you stand on it, that sends power. Um, we'll create... We'll create some of these. I haven't got a few of these, so... Let's get about 20. I don't think I'll need that many. But anyway, while that's crafting, I'll go through the other items over here, and then I'll come back to that later and show you what's going on. Um, you've got the AND gate. So the AND gate is basically something that you need to power through two different inputs. And that's how it works. So you, there's not only just the um, pressure pad input at the moment, there's also the knock gate. And the knock gate constantly does an input until you send an input to the knock gate itself and then it cancels it. So that's always turned on until you send something, uh, an input signal to it and it turns off. Will our in-game currency be saved? It won't, sorry, Wisdom. Um, then you've got over here, you've got the delay timer. So you've got a 10 second delay timer. You've got a one second delay timer. And you've got a five second delay timer. You've also got the dart turret. And the dart turret just basically shoots constantly until you power it. Uh, if you connect anything to it, it will stop shooting until it's powered. And then it will only shoot when the power is turned on and you're standing within a radius that it can shoot at. Uh, oh no, it will constantly shoot when powered. Sorry, ignore me. And then you've got the Lumo Stone doors. And I'll show you how the Lumo Stone doors work also in a moment. Does it constantly send signals or only sends uh, an off signal at the end. Which one are we talking about, AJ, sorry? Needs a signal from A and B to be on. Yep, yeah, needs two signals, two inputs. I'll show you when I'm basically... Oh, we've got enough of these. So now, we've got an AND gate. We've got a delay timer of five seconds and one second. We don't really need a 10 second, not while we're on the stream. I don't want you guys to be waiting around forever. And then we've got a knock gate too. Okay, let's take a few doors also. Okay. So we've got the doors down here. We'll put the plates in here. That's a delay timer. And gates. I've also got a few other vo uh, blocks that I'll show you guys. But it, so does it mean we have to play from the beginning again, like after the closed alpha? Just that we keep our island. Uh, you do need to, yeah, basically you keep your island, but you need to continue again. The reason is that for that, because we've got new progression and a new way of doing everything. So there's new quests and new masteries and everything and we want you guys to see how they uh, work and everything and give us feedback on those and that's the reason we do this and they're really fun by the way some of them right what am i doing right now we don't need pickaxes in this one or should we have pickaxes i'll use one pickaxe anyway so we'll start off by putting down 
Well, let's block the door. I don't know if this is the right size. Oh, it's just the right size. It's perfect. So this is a Lumo stone door. And the way it works is, it will constantly be closed until you send power to it. So, and I'll show you how the wands work now too. So if I left click the wand on the pressure plate here, and then I put it on the door, there's now a stream going between them. You can hear the awesome sounds when I hover over it. And when you hover over it and it connects to the one like this, this means you can pick up the stream. So the reason you'd want to pick up the stream is, say if you wanted to disconnect this, then you click on the, oops, sorry, I didn't click on it. And you click on this, and it's now disconnected, and if you want to get rid of it completely, you click somewhere that is in an interactive prop, and it gets rid of it. So as you can see, they're now disconnected. Well, we'll connect them back, but, hmm, I could show you something. Yeah, I'll show you this. So we've got the two ones. So the red one goes here, and it's connected to it. And this now powers it if I stand on this, by the way. And you can see it brightens up. Uh, the door will open if a knock gate is connected to it, unless the knock gate is powered. Yeah, I'll explain that one later when we get to it. And now this is the blue stream. And this is a good way of color coding your uh, your webs. So they, when you've got a load of them, it's a Lumo stone web, but it color codes your streams. What is the best way to do this? So if I remove the blue one, I can now only see that one. So all of the blue messy ones are out of the way and it's really good. But it doesn't mean that the power stops going to it. See, it still works. But you can only see the color whilst the one is in your hand. So let me throw the blue one back in my hand again. Uh, also, how can I explain this? You can do multiple connections but in different colors. So, okay, let's do the delay timer. I'm going to remove the red one for now, just so you can see what's going on, and we'll also remove the blue one. Oh, wait. Alright, this is a... which is, That's a one second timer. Okay, so I'm connecting this one to that, but then I can also connect this in red to the door. Oh, sorry, I connected it to the post box. There we go. And that will still power it. Uh, the signal still goes along, along multiple colors. It's just to help you color code them. So this will still be powered. See? There we go. Alright, I'll remove these. And I'll show you the knock gate. I'm sure I have one. Oh, by the way, items can't be picked up if they're connected to anything. So if I connect this to this, this can't be picked up now. Oh, wait. What? Oh, maybe, maybe that got changed. Ooh. Okay. It got changed again. Sorry about this. And now if I place it, is it still connected? And it's still connected, so you can move them around while the connection is on. Sorry, we temporarily changed that while it was on QA, and it seems it's been repaired again. So, you can move them around while the connection is still there. That's something I just found out, I guess. Recent updates. Didn't work in the last update. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> what was I doing? Showing updates. Okay, just connect this, and just connect this. Right. We want a knock gate. So this is a knock gate, and a knock gate is constantly powered until you send something, a signal into it. So as you can see here, now this door will always be powered. So it will always be off. Until we send a signal into the knock gate to turn the knock gate off. Maybe having an issue right now. Right. Oh, wait there, I see. So I'm doing it in the wrong order. You need to connect this to this as an input. And I'm trying to connect uh, an input to an output. Sorry, to an input. That was weird. So you've got to do it in the order, like from pressure plate to this. So it knows the direction that the signal is being sent. Uh, welcome to the chat, Alora. And... Did somebody else join? So if any parts are connected in parallel, they automatically become an OR gate with line parts from a logic chain. Uh, I want so much of a delay. Yes, when you pick up an item, it goes to your hand slot and keeps all connections. If you change slots while you have it equipped, it will lose connections. Okay, there we go. See, for me on the last one, 
it removed the connections. See, now I'm sending a signal into the NOT gate, which turns the NOT gate off. You see? So that it just work, basically makes it so the connections work in reverse, and it's really cool like that. Also, animals can power the gate. Let's see if I can get you on there. Uh, animals can power the plate, sorry. Get on the pressure pad. Okay. Did he? No, just walk this way a little bit. There we go. And you see? He powered it. You go, Desert Fox. Yeah. Okay. So they can also power them, which is really cool. Uh, try opening the Steam with another browser. Shafina knows everything. Shafina's good with this. It's well made. It might surpass words. I didn't read that. Um, so what else is there? Okay, so there's delay timers. And I assume you guys can probably guess what these do. But I'll show you anyway. So this is a one second delay timer. Where are my other delay timers? And this is a five second delay timer. We'll get rid of the door a second. So we'll connect you to the five second one. And basically, the way these work is... Ooh, sorry. The way these work is, a one second delay timer will keep a signal up for one second after you stop powering it. So, one. There we go. Uh, okay. And a five second delay timer, sorry, I pressed stepped on both by accident. Uh, sends a signal for five seconds after st uh, sending power into it. So when you're done sending power, so it will stay on completely. If I stand off it, it starts doing a countdown for five seconds and keeps it powered. Uh, Scott, if there is a component that counts every time it gets an input, so like you connect it to a pressure plate and it counts every time you step on it. There isn't anything that we've got like that so far, sorry. Uh, we do intend to have more into the future, and if you guys want to make uh, suggestions, feel free to add them on the forum and we'll look into those. But we do plan, uh, intend to improve this in the future and add more to it. Let's go. Okay, so the door's open and we... There's also something I should show you as well about doors. Now, I might not have a door. No, I should have brought a door with me. That's my bad, guys. Sorry about that. But basically, if you have a door, you can press any on it to open it usually. But if you've got it connected to any Lumastone device, anything whatsoever, you aren't able to open that door unless a signal is sent to it, and then it's opened. So, sadly, I don't have a door to show you that. But it will basically not open with E whilst it's powered. But doors can be opened using those. As Rafina said, you can make flip-flops. Right. Okay. So what was I going to do? Okay, we can do a few examples. Give me a second while I'm mine. And while we're doing the examples, hopefully I can teach you a few things. I assume a lot of you are already really good at this kind of thing. What else can we craft here? Okay, we could make the crumbling blocks, but I don't have gunpowder at the moment, so sadly I can't. Let's make some dart traps. Right, and then we need stone. So we got three Lumastone dart turrets, and I'll show you how these work too. The stream, yeah, the streams can go through walls, 